Hi, I'm Magnus, and today I thought I'd give you a quick heads up on the brand new Elm plugin for Lightable. This weekend I'm going to an Elm workshop at CodeMesh in London, and I realized a little while back that Lightable doesn't have any support for, for Elm, so I figured I had to do something about that. So this demo uh, shows some of the features I've managed to implement so far. Right, so I have a simple Elm project here, uh, and the important bits are the Elm package JSON file, which is required, and a simple hello Elm file. Right, so to connect to this project, I can use the standard light table feature to add connections. So I'm just select add connection, and from list of available clients, you will see that Elm is listed. So I select that and I provide the directory of my project and select open and you can now see from the connect bar in Lightable that the project is indeed connected. But of course you don't really have to do this. Most of the operations will automatically connect for you so I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect here. And Right, so the first feature I was going to show you is uh, linting. So there is a command elm lint, and if I run that, it will display any errors or warnings for my uh, for my elm file. So this one is a warning; it's shown in blue, and it says that I'm missing a type annotation for my function. So I'm just going to go ahead. And Add that, and if I lint the file again, there is no warning. So that's good stuff. So how does errors look? Well, let's do a really simple, stupid thing like one like this. And if I try to lint this file now, it will complain that this doesn't make any sense. Uh, really should have been just a single plus here so if I lint again it's going to complain that it doesn't have a type annotation but this function doesn't provide all that much value so we're not going to show you that right um, another feature is an inline documentation feature so if you just put the cursor over uh, some function that actually has any documentation and press Control D, it will show the documentation for that function in line, which is quite neat. And there's also a language docs feature, which allows you to search for specific functions that you might be wondering about, or if you want to look at uh, what's functions the list module has. You can just search for list and we'll show you all the functions in the list module. So that's quite handy. There's also a autocomplete feature. So you just press uh, tab to complete and now I can actually look at the documentation for that as well if I want to. Right, and for every Elm editor in your project, uh, you can also do uh, evaluations of expressions using uh, the Elm REPL that is running behind, running in the background of the Elm client project. Elm, yeah, the, the, the connected project's Elm client. So. I can do really advanced math like this and just press command enter to evaluate the expression and indeed that makes sense but for most cases you might end up using the standalone REPL editor which I call Elm REPL and 
So here I can import uh, modules from my project. So I can import hello here. Supposing greet like so and I'm gonna like that and now I should be able to greet myself. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. And final thing I was gonna show you is a demo of the Mario example from uh, from elmlang.org so in order to um, view uh, this file in a browser I've added the convenience function I'm called view current elm file in browser so if you look at the browser here now we have our dear Mario and we can jump around which is all good fun we can stop time we can go back in time and so on and so forth however the debugger isn't working perfectly well so if I wanna if I would want to change something here uh, let's see where's the Yeah, if we change that to something like 20 and reload, now it's jumping ludicrously high. All right, that's pretty much what I was planning to show you. And um, going forward, um, there's quite a lot of things to do. Um, there are at least a couple of uh, really neat useful editor features I'd like to to implement. One is uh, the ability to select top-level expressions and uh, should the REPL uh, or evaluation features should support uh, evaluating several expressions in one go and so on and so forth. And um, I'm sure there's going to be lots of other stuff as well. But it's a start, so there you go. Give it a go, and um, if you have any comments, feel free to let me know, and if you'd like to contribute, um, well, send me pull requests. Okay, cheers. <laughs>